اسید میگیره از چیز میگیره I am a friend of Danny McBride of Elishowen North And I will tell you a story. You might be walking down the street and you see a 25-year-old blonde girl with long blonde hair with beautiful dress and a short skirt. No. She wants you to raise her. But she can't say, will you please fuck my brains out? She can't say that, and you can't say that, which is 1984. Which is 1984 written by George Orwell, because everybody is going home to masturbate. Men, women, teenagers and children, men, women, adult women, elderly women, middle-aged women, teenage women are going home to masturbate. They are getting into their beds, they're looking at hardcore pornography, they're looking They're getting into their beds, they're looking at hardcore pornography. And men and women are masturbating. They are masturbating on a regular basis because there's no babies being born. But I would ask you, why is there no babies being born? Because it's population control. It is population control by the powers that be because they don't want, they don't want anybody annoying them and their fucking vast fucking mansion. They do not want anybody annoying them in their vast fucking mansions and their vast fucking luxury yachts because they're trying to control the whole fucking planet so that nobody annoys them in their mansions and their luxury yachts. But I would ask you, who is going to clean the toilets in your luxury mansion or your luxury yacht? Now, now in 1984, by George Orwell, now, now, as I would say, George. Orwell, uh, George Orwell, 1984, the book, 1984, Big New War, 1984, Big New War. George Orwell, George Orwell was saying that um, he was a wee bit of a prophet, wee bit of a prophet, yeah. He prophesied uh, George Orwell, uh, George uh, George Orwell predicted that all of the human race in the future would be masturbating. They would be masturbating, looking at pornography, so you blow your load all over the fucking bed sheets, but there's no babies born because you're not fucking them. And if you don't stick your penis into a woman's vagina and ejaculate, if she not, if, 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 If you do not stick your penis into a woman's vagina and ejaculate, 
because she makes you very hard. If a woman is a good woman, she makes you horny and you blow your load. But if you do not stick a penis into a woman's vagina and make her wet and ejaculate, then there will be no babies born. There will be no babies born. So if you're walking down the street and you see you see a beautiful 25, 35-year-old woman, she has long blonde hair, beautiful bust, beautiful breasts, short skirt. She is asking you to fuck her. She is asking you, will you please fuck me, will you please fuck me? But you can't say that. You can't say that because it's all political correctness. So you could stop her and say, if sorry, darling, would you have a cigarette? She probably doesn't fucking smoke. So you see. Uh, what could you say? Fuck, I don't know what you could say, but she wants to be fucked. But she doesn't want to say, you don't want to say. So she goes, so she goes home, look at such xvideos.com, fucking wanks her clit, fingers the vagina, fingers her ass, uses her vibrator, she uses her vibrator, she squirts all over the bed clothes, she squirts all over the bed clothes. You go home. You go home, you have a good wank, you have a good fucking wank looking X, you have a good wank looking Xvideos.com. Then you blow your load all over the fucking duvet. And what is the result? There's no babies born. So my question to you is, if you see a 25, 35-year-old blonde woman walking down the street in hot pants, she's a tight top showing her nipples. Well, I don't know, she might get hired yet, but she's a tight top with her breast showing her short, short pants, short pants showing her pussy. Or, or a mini skirt, a mini skirt up to the reverse. And written all over her forehead, and written all over her forehead, will you please fuck me? Yeah, now as George Earl said, everybody's going home to get on their duty to fucking masturbate. But with that attitude, there'll be no babies born. So as an Eskimo, so as an Eskimo, so as an Eskimo, so as an Eskimo, so as an Eskimo would say, how do you melt the fucking thing? So as an Eskimo, so as an Eskimo, so that 2750, 1750, 2750, 2750, 2750, 2750, 2750, 2750, 2750, 2750, 2750, 2750, so as an Eskimo you walk past you walk past a woman with long blonde hair, a tight top showing her breasts, wearing a hat, wearing a pair of wearing twenty seven wearing 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 a pair of hot pants with her pussy bulging out of her hot pants. Written all over her forehead is please bring me home and fuck me. You have a cock like a hired donkey. You want to fuck her. She wants to fuck you. 1984, George Orwell. How do you prevent you going home to pull yourself under the duvet, her going home to finger her clit and her pussy in her ass with a fucking wrap and rub? How are there going to be more babies born with this fucking man? I rest my fucking teeth.